Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Unity of Command 2 Blitzkrieg, a new DLC out for Unity of Command 2 that allows you to play through the game as the Germans in the early war campaigns in 1939 and 1940. Uh, we are playing the Battle of Dunkirk today, so we're invading France. We've successfully driven forward to the Channel, cut a large portion of the British Expeditionary Force off uh, with their backs to the sea, as well as chunks of the Belgian army and the French army as well. And in today's episode, we're going to be trying to fend off French counterattacks to uh, break through and, and potentially, uh, let, I guess, release the pocket in Dunkirk, as well as reducing the pocket despite heavy enemy naval gunfire support and uh, enemy resistance. With that being said, this was taken from a live stream from my Twitch channel. If you do want to participate in those, check out the link in the description to my Twitch channel. Like I said in our last episode, I try to start streams between 8 and 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, I need to be better about picking days of the week. I'm going to try and put a schedule together to do that. Um, if you're interested, you can check out my Discord channel, which is also in the description. Uh, I'm going to try and put a schedule there so it's easier to follow. But that's enough channel maintenance. Let's go ahead and just jump right into the episode. Hope you guys enjoy it. Catch you guys at the end, and away we go. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So Dunkirk, May 26, 1940. The cream of the French army remains, uh, and the remains of the Belgian army and most of the BEF are all trapped in an ever-shrinking perimeter centered on the French port of Dunkirk. Knowing they would need their forces intact for further attacks into France, the Germans gambled that they could bomb the pocket into submission and thus avoid heavy casualties, and so the panzers were halted for a few crucial days. However, as soon as it became clear that the Luftwaffe was not up to the task, they were once again let loose. So in this battle, we will have Army Group B, A, and Panzer Group Kleist, and it's eight turns, one objective. I'm guessing this is just going to be a lot of fortress busting of heavily dug in enemy troops as we try to push them back against the channel and wipe them out. Um, but we'll see. I haven't, I haven't played this battle before. Like, not everyone gets them every time. Okay, so you can see we had a lot of units reconstituted in this battle since last time. Uh, you can see, because of the casualties we lost last battle, the 217th Infantry Division, the 2nd Panzer Division, the SSIR uh, H, uh, AH, the 14th ID, the 29th ID, the 31st ID, the 6th ID, and the 6th Panzer Division. Okay, so this is interesting. It looks like we've got a large French force here to the southwest that we probably have to fend off, I'm guessing, uh, in the Amiens area. And then we also, and we have to hold Amiens there. Apparently we have more than just Dunkirk. It looks like we've got Lille, Ostend, and Calais are all objectives that we need to take. It's a little bit annoying. Like, I know that we failed the secondary objective of taking Calais last turn, so I'm guessing that's why the enemy gets it this battle. I'm guessing if we had taken it last battle, then we would keep it. But it's a little bit annoying that places I did take, we have to take again. Um... There's going to be naval defensive fire in and around Calais and Dunkirk for six turns by the looks of it. So that's going to suck. I used all my cards for my flying artillery and everything else like that. We don't get a lot of air power here in this battle. It looks like just one air attack. So that's going to suck uh, per turn. Um, and just a lot of enemy troops that we've got to take. We've got to take Lille, Ostend, and Calais. We've got eight turns to do it. We've got to hold Amiens um, and, uh, and there. So, with that being said, a lot of these units are under strength. These guys are elites. Um, I do want to spend a little bit of prestige to get some of these units a little bit stronger. Especially some of these panzer units. Doesn't look like I've got a lot to... ...use here, though. I'm spending a little bit of prestige, I know. Um, we could get some 88s. What do they do? They give you better defense, slightly better attack, and a bonus against armor. They might be useful for, for these guys down here. Okay. So we'll put those 88s down there as well as some armor. 
These guys can't even reinforce. Jeez. Do I have any reinforcements that I can deploy? Nothing from Panzer Group Kleist? Well, it looks like we have six, but we can't deploy them in the deployment phase. We've got six steps we can deploy. What about Army Group A? Yeah, we've got 24 infantry steps to use. Okay. God damn it, I didn't mean to click that. These guys are just so... Just gotta max them out, really, because they're basically worthless in their current configuration. drop them down below veterancy status, but if I'm gonna do it, we'll go all the way with it. Alright, some of these units are really damn small. So, almost everything that we're fighting is gonna be dug in. see let's just look to see if we see any more threes or fours to buff them up a bit uh, I don't think I can reinforce this armor I'm gonna buy an armor step I'll spend five prestige to make these guys big. Okay. Alright, so I think that's going to do it for the deployment phase. The enemy does get reinforcements, but I'm assuming they're all deployed to the south. So we'll end the deployment phase. We, oh, wait, we do have trucks available. So what's our supply? Oh, God. Where can we... What's the closest I can... So put them here with two trucks. Just hope they don't get counterattacked there. Everyone will be in supply except for this one mechanized unit. I wish I could change their location so that they are in a hex where they're going to have supply, but... Okay, so, uh, 15 prestige left. We spent almost all of our prestige, which will come into play in the next conference when we go in there with very little prestige to spend on upgrades. So, I'd love to take Calais out quick. Can we faint? Will they get naval gunfire support on a faint? So you see the enemy gunfire support against us hurt. We'll attack again. Enemy gunfire support again did some damage. do no damage there. God damn it, die! Alright, so we finished them off. And took the base. 
So that's a very good result for us. Took it on turn one. Probably lost more men than we wanted to, but we got the base. Uh, these guys will be in supply. And so they keep it for six turns. Is that why it says six? Like they get naval gunfire support on every attack in these hexes? Right along the coast? Huh. All right, whatever. We took the, we took the objective. So I get the 50 prestige for that. Where does Belgian capitulation come in? Oh, so we've got to take these hexes over here. Man, I shouldn't have used the, all that aerial artillery last turn. Would have made things a lot easier if I didn't. Um, let's try and bombard these guys, maybe. Just one support, huh? Well, that was lame. I should have just attacked. Let's launch... I can't launch a feint either. Right, these are regular. They're not experienced, so I'll take the casualties there. the Belgian capitulation have to turn? Turn six. Prevent mass evacuation. Take 70 prisoners. Hmm. I didn't actually lose nearly as many men as I thought I was going to in that attack. They're through the front lines. Advance. I can't see which one is, I think it's this hex, but it could be the one to the north. Okay. Either way, we got across the bridge here. Hopefully we can finish these guys off next turn. Advance on Ustund. I don't really care about infantry casualties as much, to be honest. I may be less caring of my own men's lives than I should be. I don't know. You tell me! I didn't earn the nickname The Butcher for nothing, though. Alright, so... Set piece, maybe? Nice! We got a breach, which gets rid of the enemy's uh, entrenchments, at least. Too bad I can't actually do anything with that. But at least their entrenchments are gone. I'm sure they'll just dig right back in. <laughs> I do have a reputation to maintain. That is, That is true. Can we actually... Let's... Pull these guys back, move this unit forward. Them, these guys have a Stug. They also have artillery, but it, it didn't move with them. So we'll continue the attack there. Do a little bit of damage to that unit. Mostly just suppression damage by the look of it. Okay, so I'll launch another set piece attack there. We get a breach. All right, so we overran and destroyed our first enemy unit. In the advance on Lille. Weakened another unit there. Go with a 
faint here to drop one of their supports. We'll go to zero to two, get the breach. Swing these guys around, advance this armor into place, attack at the enemy rear, get a breach and overrun. Alright, then I'll push forward with this fourth Panzer Division here, go at the enemy armor. Mechanized unit into Amin. Overrun breach. Okay. So I probably should be more concerned about the enemy counterattack that's certainly to, going to come near a means. Guys, get reinforcements? No. The regulars? Do we have any veterans? Well, they already attacked, though. Well, shit. Um. Abler D, thank you very much for the follow. I don't really like the idea of taking one-to-one -one casualties, but I could. Shit, I should have pulled that armor out. These guys down here would have made much more sense. And neither of those units can move. attack any of these guys? No, not really. Alright. Uh, well, I think that's actually going to do it for this turn. I mean, I know there are more attacks that can be made, but most of them look to be suicidal. So I think we need to wait as things develop for another turn and see what turn two has in store for us of eight. Nonsense! The French are too scared of the mighty Wehrmacht to dare attack you now. Well, that didn't turn out to be true. There was a feint here on these guys, then a follow-up attack. Suppressed my armor, but thank goodness that we did have that extra armored unit there. It definitely helped them in the defense against both of these armored attacks to the east of Amin. They eliminated the bridgehead here by driving that unit back. Now they're attacking Amin directly. I think the defense is working out for us there so far. We'll see. Great. They increase their entrenchments near the Belgian capitulation line. More attacks on our infantry east of Amin. They're trying to cut the supply line, presumably. Although, do we... We don't even have a rail line there, so... I'm not sure what the urgency of those attacks is, unless it's just trying to destroy our units, which I guess is a goal in of itself. We did suffer Panzer Group Kleist, lost one unit destroyed. That was the unit that was across the river already down here. Okay. I probably should try and go here, because then I'll cut the supply line to everybody forward here near Lille. 
presumably. I'm not sure where the depots are. There's one here in Lille, but where is the supply source for these guys who are cut off? That's what I don't know. Nice, so that set piece attack succeeded and we got Belgian capitulation. We took that objective. Why can't I? And all the Belgian forces are now surrendering. Except because of the way that zones of control works, it doesn't look like I can do anything with that. I can't advance further here. Huh. So the whole right flank of the enemy should have caved in, but because of the way these zones of control work with the BEF in position here, I can't just swoop in and take all the prisoners. Well, that's annoying. And I have no armor up there to plunge into the into the gap. Either way, Belgium, Belgium capitulates, so a bunch of units get destroyed. Presumably I'll be able to mop them up. The BEF's headquarters, if we could have taken that, I think that would have probably helped us, I presume. Um, damn it, that's really annoying. Just push on as much as we can. What's... We're going to push our depots forward a little bit past Ghent. All right. Um... Alright, the artillery can attack here with a 0 to 2 and they get a breach without using an assault or anything like that. That's nice. I'll launch a feint here to drop their support one. I'm hoping to get an overrun here. Damn it. I was hoping I could get an overrun there and then use my, my armor again against these French tanks. Didn't quite work out that way. Alright, we'll advance these guys here. Alright, let's attack here. Hold the armor back, swing this armor south, get a four and an overrun. Multiple cheap attacks, swing the mechanized troops through. Okay, so that Supply situation. Oh, wow, they're still going to be under supply. So we've now got a two hex. I don't know if I'd call it a breakthrough, but we're along two of the enemy rail lines hexes. So I don't know. These guys might all be out of supply next turn. Not 100% sure. Okay, uh, part of me doesn't want to attack again on this line because if they're all going to be out of supply, everybody east of this breakthrough, I kind of want to... And I also want to wait till we can...
push through here and move toward Ostend and Dunkirk. Would have been nice to take Ostend undefended thanks to the Belgian capitulation, but damn the, the zone to control rules. I'll say it again. All right. Okay, that was a good result. So a successful attack there. Move our infantry forward here. Beat these enemy mechanized units up a little bit. We for sure pocketed this mechanized unit. Let's use our air in the south, I guess, to try and help defend Amin's. Let's go ahead and hit these enemy infantry. I'm not sure. Like, these guys are heavily entrenched near Dunkirk. So I don't really want to attack him head on. Guess I can go for the troops on their flank. Taking some casualties there. Oh shit, undo that. I don't want my armor in a... At least I don't think I want my armor in a forest. Usually that's a bad, bad thing to do but it's the only unit that can move in there? Oh, shit. Hmm. Could move these mechanized troops there. Not sure whether that's smart or not. I don't think they'll land troops on the, on the coast behind my lines. Guess we'll be careful there and move our armor up there. River. Nice, I got a KAA out of that. Wasn't predicted. Oh, heavy losses on the armor. We've lost more than five armored units. So we've failed that secondary objective. It's okay, I never like tanks anyway. They're just they're just they're useless, right? I guess we'll keep those units there. Okay. So if we swing these guys west. Destroy that enemy armored unit. So we extend our front near Amin and destroy one of the enemy, ar enemy armored units that was trying to attack us. I hope that's good. I guess we'll see. But I think we'll wrap this turn up now and see what uh, the next one has in store for it. Looks like we've got a lot more troops behind that front line where the Belgians were, so presumably they're going to just fill in here and reform that line. Enemy counterattack at Amin continues. They're weakening us, but boy are those defenders putting up a good show. All along the line, those French counter French and I guess British as well, counterattacks largely failing. Although they did just destroy another mechanized division of ours that was across the bridgehead there. God, we're losing.
moves and so many steps there. That armor drove our mechanized troops back, but they didn't destroy him, so that's that's a good result for us. I mean, mechanized troops trying to get through that pocket near Lille. They do manage to succeed there. And they do move some armored units up toward Ostend to reform that line where the Belgian troops were. They destroy several bridges. But won't they cut the supply to their own troops? If there is any? And it looks like they're not out of supply near Lille yet. We lost two units KIA that turn. I mean, oh god, that infantry unit had a bunch of secondary traits. Alright, so that enemy armor is gone. Pushed our line out a little bit further away from Immines. We shortened the front. Can we put more troops in it? I'll attack a zero to two. Give me those odds. Weaken the enemy in my front. All right, let's do this. We'll shift these guys. Bring these guys here. Attack. advance these troops out of here. Bring this armored unit south, and now they can't even attack the city directly. Someone should probably be yelling at my general right now to be like, Sir, Dunkirk's the other way! Alright. Um, move my infantry into Ostend. enemy armor with air. Weakens them slightly. So they have evacu- oh, no, we've taken 70, 20 of 70. We need to take 70 prisoners, we've taken 20. All right, we get the overrun and we can advance into the rear of Lil. Swing in here, get the overrun. Another pocket. Just keep pocketing those pocketing those bad guys. Alright. Good results there for our troops. Very good results. Leal is now surrounded. Push on toward the beach. Here. This is a, a stellar result for us so far. So, we're up to 30 prisoners. 
We have surrounded Leal. We haven't attacked it yet. It's probably going to be a little bit of a tricky objective. What's her supply situation going to look like? Wow! Because there's a depot right here. They're all going to be in supply. Nice. Let's actually increase that depot. Okay. So, good results. Took out Oostend. Took Brug. The only objective left to take is Leal, which is here. After that, we will have quote-unquote won. Um, but we do want to try and take Dunkirk itself to get our secondary objectives. We won't get all the secondary objectives. All right, this is a good stopping point here. We are still in the middle of a turn, but we're pretty much wrapped up. We've created a pocket near Lille. We've taken Ostend. We've forced the Belgian army to surrender, and we've taken Calais. We only have to take Lille, uh, take Lille uh, to win the battle, and that's pretty much assured given we've surrounded the only enemy unit there with still five more turns. Uh, it's a bigger question whether we'll actually force enough units to surrender to get the secondary achievement preventing a mass evacuation, uh, and also whether we'll hold on to Amin's in the south, although I think we probably will. Um, we've expanded our bridgehead there, so we'll see how things play out in our next episode. Until our next episode, this is the Historical Gamer saying once again, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, I'm out.